Welcome back, Shane. What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope all's well. So, if you've been watching my videos from before, you know dropping my drum pack today so I'm going to use that drum pack today to make a, a beat a rod wave type beat I said I'm going to give the kit away to I think I said 10 if you want the kit free hit me up on Instagram and I'll send it to you otherwise if it's gone past the 10 then hit the link in the description below to purchase it's a cool little kit get you started especially if you're just starting off making beats and stuff and you need some decent sounds that knock then that's the kit to go get my favorite comment this week is Priscilla Nilla thanks for the comment I appreciate the feedback shout out my two new subscribers P. Riley O'Neill and Jody Dennant. Thank you both for subscribing. I appreciate that. I hope you hit the notification bell as well so you would have got notified when this video dropped. Let's dive into this video. I don't know if you've seen a video that was put out the other day, about a week ago, talking about tight beats ruining hip hop by, get what the guy's name is on YouTube. And basically he was saying tight beat producers are ruining hip hop. Like, I think since then, because of like the kind of the backlash that's come from it, he's uh, changed the title, but it's still the same content. Basically saying that tight beat producers are lacking creativity but that doesn't make no sense i don't agree with that because you are being creative all you're doing or all that i do when i create a type beat is i was thinking who do i feel would sound cold on this beat and that's, i'm sure that's what everyone else is doing i don't think anyone's making a beat and thinking oh i want to make it sound exactly like what they've already put out yeah that's not being that creative but you, you're inspired by what you hear and what you go through so yeah type beat producers keep doing your thing we know it's a marketing thing it helps it does help with sales us there's producers out there killing it using type beats so there's absolutely nothing wrong with creating type beats and putting an artist's name who you feel would work on that beat because sometimes when a, an artist is looking for a beat or a certain type of beat that's what they're typing in YouTube Dave type beat, Heady One type beat, Drake type beat keep doing it I say
yeah, I think that loop turned out nice. I like it. Use a couple of the drums from the sound pack, and I think it works nicely for this type of beat. Got any questions? Come hit me up on Instagram. Let's connect. Let me know what you think of the beat in the comments below. If you like it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.